Hi, Judd here. Well, here's a new one for you. I haven't seen this one on YouTube. I've seen lots of how to repair fiberglass tubs on YouTube, but not this problem. This is the drain, and to get the drain out, what you do is put a pair of needle nose in there and put a screwdriver between them if you need leverage. I can just lift it out of there. And what has happened is the fiberglass of the tub has split right along the edge of that. You see about half that circle is completely separated from the tub. Now these cracks have been there for a while and this is damp and so this is pretty filthy. And of course before I can get any glue of any kind to work I need that cleaned. But I can't exactly send water down here because that drain is totally disconnected and it just goes right through to the floor. First thing I do is try to clean this up as best I can to get the cleanest surfaces I can. And then I'm going to try super gluing, which is actually one of the recommended glues for fixing fiberglass, and see if I can glue this back together, see what I end up with at that point, as far as strength goes. So basically, i got a pan of water in here, and a 3M pad, and I hit the thing with some Dawn Power Wash, which is my go-all for everything. I've also got a uh small the smallest tack i could find that has a good flat head on it in a pair of vice grips so i can put that in the crack and lift it up to open it up to get inside it maybe i've sprayed it with some dawn and i'm just going to scrub off what i can that dawn power wash stuff is amazing but see the thing is i can't rinse real good here that's the thing that concerns me because if there's soap left in the joints then the glue isn't going to work I should also add, I've got terrible water here, very iron laden. All the stains you see in the tub are just from the water. That's about as clean as I'm going to get it. Although, from this view with the camera, I can see better in it. It's pretty grubby. Uh, but you can see that. You can see that cracks a lot cleaner than it was. Where am I? There we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't push down on that. Maybe I can get that a little cleaner. Okay. And then underneath here, you see here's this ring thing that was out of place. So I'll put that back in place when I put this all back together there was something else too yeah there's something else there's a board like thing under there so there's that ring which I don't want to lose which is part of the drain assembly and then there's another piece under here Let's see if I move it into place there you go see that that's part of the tub and that has come disattached from beneath here and now I've jammed it into a position I can't get it out of okay so I'll work on that but you see what I'm dealing with. Okay. Okay, ring is all clean. There was some corrosion build up on it. That's the rubber washer for the drain. So that's ready to go. And I'm going to get this thing in position. So first thing I got is some acetone in case I do make finger contact. And I'm going to put that bottle out here open. If I get a finger stuck, I'm not going to have two hands to open it. I've got a plastic bag so I can reach in there and grab stuff without putting my flesh at risk. I got a popsicle stick that I can use to exert pressure to open cracks. Put in the Gorilla Super Glue. This name kept coming up in a lot of the videos I saw, so I went with this one. But I suppose any super glue gel, Loctite or any of them, would be fine. I'm going to do crack, 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 and then do the ring. Oh, and on the super glue, I'm using the gel because it has some gap filling properties and to make application over a larger area it's a little easier. Ridge 
here it didn't quite fit right here. Maybe this will seal it up. I think I'm probably going to have to put a piece of fiberglass over this whole thing. Ooh, the fumes are starting to hit. Well, maybe. Okay. Now, the downside is that one's 24 hours fully set. I mean, it hardens in five minutes, but it wants 24 hours to fully cure. But before I dare put any pressures on that, I'm going to give it 24 hours. So there's where we stand right now after the first session. It's got, got pretty decent alignment on those cracks. I think I can touch them now. Well, it's still a little sticky. But uh, that's good. The question is if that will be strong enough to hold that joint. I don't like the way it feels right there. But I can lay a piece of fiberglass over this whole thing, which is going to create a bump at the drain, but the other alternative is take the tub out, which means taking the walls down. So, as they say, a bee bee dee bee dee bee dee bee bee that's all, folks. I got a little bit on my skin, so I'll wash that off with the uh, nail polish remover, otherwise known as acetone. And that'll be it for this session. Thank you for watching. It's about 5 a.m. and I'm up, so what the heck. I took a look at this right here. This joint right here has got some give to it. So I'm going to go underneath that, push up on it to open it up a little bit, and try to squeeze some more super glue into that joint. This is holding, this is good and tight. That's holding nice all along here. But that particular joint here and about there uh, didn't get any glue in it or didn't hold. So just for the possibility that it might hold, I'm going to go ahead at that and put some more super glue in there. And I'm probably going to have to put a sheet of fiberglass over that, which just complicates things. That's why I was trying to avoid that. But uh, I save a penny today and spend a dollar tomorrow. I don't know if you can see any difference, but I lifted that up and squeezed and used the popsicle stick to scrape into the cracks as much of the glue as I could. And uh, we'll check that again next time I get up. It's now 9 a.m. And we'll take a look at this and see what I appeal here. Okay, I am no longer feeling the give there that I felt before. I could probably get away with this at this point, but uh, I shall contemplate whether I want to go to the trouble of doing the fiberglass or just live with this until I remodel the whole thing, which would be a while. I got so many projects. The reason I'm not automatically going to the fiberglass is because that involves a lot of work. You remember when I was doing the Bondo on the car, you don't just put some Bondo on there. There's Bondo, there's shaping, there's sanding, there's another coat, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing with the fiberglass. You don't just put a piece of fiberglass in there once and do it. You got to put it in there, then sand it, and then uh, it's probably the wrong color. You got to prime and paint maybe, which I would not do. But it's not just like putting a piece of duct tape down. <laughs> Although maybe I should have done that. Hmm. It's about 5 o'clock in the evening, and earlier today, I scrubbed the heck out of this thing. Still quite usable. It's stained and some minor pitting on it, but it's nice and clean now. And basically, I decided what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the fiberglass for various reasons. There were various reasons I was going to do it, and now there's various reasons I'm not going to do it. But what I am going to do is basically make a bigger ring for this. So I'll just have a big metal washer under this that extends it out well past the breaks in the tub. And I'll be sitting that in a bed of epoxy and topping it with a bed of epoxy. Specifically, JB Marine Weld, which is the best thing for water. And mainly because the epoxy is stronger than fiberglass resin. Plus then I'm not going to have to deal with all this stuff I'd have to deal with if I was doing the fiberglass resin, which as I said before would be like doing bond multiple layers and stuff like that 
So now I'm going to prepare this special metal piece that I'm creating for this. So there is exactly what I wanted. A larger ring with a little dip in the middle so this will sit down in it. And this will have a layer of epoxy under it and over it. But I'm going to put some Vaseline under this ring. I was going to put plumber's putty, but that's too sticky. Put some Vaseline in there just to seal up that surface between that and this. So the next step is I have to sand the heck out of the patch area because I have to remove any surface traces of the super glue because the epoxy does not stick really well to the super glue. It will, but it doesn't, it's not the best bond. Plus it'll smooth off some of those little ridges I've gotten things. So that's next. We're back in the tub. I'm going to sand this down nice and smooth and eliminate any surface uh, remnants of the super glue. And also, one of the reasons I'm doing it the way I'm doing it is because I feel confident that I could actually use this as is right now. I mean, I feel good enough about these joints that I think I could get away with just putting the drain back in there now. So what I'm doing now is a little extra because I always do a little extra. I've now got my JB weld, and first I'll say when you take this cap off, you don't need to cut the tips off. It's already open. So when you take that off, you might be surprised to have some squirt out, so be careful of that. Okay, i got a couple pieces of parchment paper. I had some potato salad the other night, so the bottom of that gives me a nice little mixing tray, and the sides of it gave me some nice spreaders. And then i got some popsicle sticks to mix it up in, and i got a brush in case I need that. I put parchment paper in underneath here. I'd rather have wax paper, but I'm out of wax paper to protect from any dripping into the pipe. So here we go, egad. <laughs> I must say, I thought that stuff was going to be a lot more liquid, and I didn't know it was white. It's good that it's white, but it would have been a bit more liquid. I wanted this self-level. It's been five minutes, so... I find that I'm a little out of line here. Or, that is squeezed out. Oh, wow, that is squeezed out way past the rim. I do get my depression in there, which I wanted. And I dragged it up to the crack, but it's very rough. I thought that would be smooth. Yeah, I thought this was going to be more like a pouring a liquid gel sort of thing. But this is very gummy to rim. There we go. Okay, good. And it's like kind of messy and i got a gap here. But I'll take care of that with the next fill. And now that I know how the stuff is, I can probably work it a little better. Well, that quickly turned into a disaster. <laughs> Not exactly a disaster, but a mess. The JB Weld was just getting hard too fast. I just had to dive in there with my fingers and get at it. Not exactly a delightful surface, but a serviceable one, I think. And I have my reinforcement in place and covered and sealed and the little poke-up parts covered more or less over here. We got a little bit showing because the stuff was just too rubbery by the time I got to that side. That's the problem with this five-minute stuff. By the time you finish mixing it, it's already starting to get hard. That's going to be the repair. Unless this stuff does get sandably hard and I can sand it smooth. I'm going to give that 24 hours. I suppose I should wait till then to put the video together. So I can show you running water down the drain without hearing it running outside my house. Which is how I discovered this thing. Somebody was, I had a guest that was taking a shower. I'm sitting outside and I hear water rushing outside of my house. I'm like, that's not good. So that's it for the moment.